I'm done. Put the telly on. Hey, give it. If there's one thing the lefties on Twitter hate, it's a person with a different opinion. And one of the best people at rattling these weirdos online is Gary from Nerdrotic. Nerdrotic is probably the biggest YouTube channel when it comes to pop culture, and I discovered him back in 2018, 17, when it came to the failure of Doctor Who, and has motivated many people to make their own channels online and speak their, uh, speak their opinions, which is, I think, very positive for the nerdum community. And speaking of division, this guy has made a massive thread with 21,000 likes, choosing to get really, really triggered about somebody that has a different opinion than him. Nerdrotic is a piece of shit that we've allowed to operate amongst us for far too long. A thread. That's right, folks. They sell you outrage and anger. This is what they do. They make mountains of molehills to capitalize on an insignificant frustration their target demographic might be feeling and heighten the issue rather than tame it. Well, no, it's just a bunch of conservative-leaning people, and not even that sometimes, and giving their opinion on a bit of media that they don't like. But when it comes to Nerdrotic, all he's doing is speaking out against the divisive nature that is in most media right now, which is the political nature that's been leaning into most of these pieces of shit movies. The list can go as far as The Lord of the Rings, Doctor Who, Star Trek, the MCU, luckily which is making a turnaround right now. Something these people don't understand is he's not some kind of conservative Nazi, he's just a nerd speaking his mind. No, this won't be news to you. I realise that. Nerd Rotic has an obsession with the cor <laughs> with the concept that anyone who isn't straight, white or male might make an appearance, or God forbid, lead a solo project. Which is pretty strange, because I'm pretty sure one of Nerd, Nerd Rotic's favourite franchises is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, something he was speaking about on one of his podcasts, which led me to watching it. And that, oh my God, had a f has a female lead with a lot of really good female characters. I've never once heard him go, oh, that that's a shit show because there's a woman in it. Just cringe fucking propaganda rhetoric. But of course has praise for the MCU, but only when it involves mo movies where the main protagonist is white, male, and straight. You, what, you mean Deadpool and Wolverine? Two of the biggest iconic comic book characters of all time, played by the awesome Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds, and you're, expect and you're surprised of why this is crossing a well, world, which is probably going to cross a billion pounds. Nothing to do with the fact that they're white, mate. It's the fact that they're interesting and fun characters. This is the irony, right? It's not Gary who's obsessed with the skin colour and the superficial elements like their gender. It's these fucking weirdos on Twitter who are obsessed with shit like that. We just want fun fucking movies. It's not exactly a big fucking riddle. He's generally just a racist, so... So much at, so much at this point, he should honestly just come out and admit that he's a white supremacist. I mean, the closest thing you're going to get to that point is he's from the South. <laughs> but no, he's clearly not a fucking racist. Let's listen to one of his racially charged comments, shall we? What there wasn't a lot of was men. Uh, not sure what happened to all the dudes in Wakanda. Maybe they went off to get a pack of Salem's and never came back. Oh, shit. I don't know if I'll keep that one in. What there wasn't a lot. That wasn't racism, lad. That was something we called humor. Something lost in the hive mind. That is the leftist ideology. The reason these people are so fucking empty on the inside is because they aren't capable of having fun or having a joke at the expense of other people, and sometimes, most importantly, themselves. You're just a little boy with a camera and a microphone. Take that away and what are you? Racist, homophobic, and transphobic, misogynist. Elon said he was fixing it. Let's dead name test. Ellen Page, Bruce Jenner, Star Wars, and Marvel. Again, another funny joke because, you know, Ellen Page is just the pinnacle of happiness right now. Bruce Jenner, who's quite based, by the way. Star Wars and Marvel, that's just a, you know, obvious fucking joke he's going with there. Such a problematic person that his whereabouts on January 6th could be brought into question. Yes, because the guy that runs a massive fucking YouTube channel has time to go back to down to Washington to protest about an election that was mm, a bit iffy at best. This guy is stuck in a never-ending circle jerk, literally built on the back of shitting on suppressed voices and oppressed minorities. If it's not a straight white man, he don't want it. In fact, he'll dedicate time to shitting on it for two weeks. Well, I mean, that's technically his job, you know. He's got two podcasts to run. He has nothing but time to dissect the shit products that these people are fucking giving us. It's not the fact that they're not straight white man, lad. It's the fact that these pieces of media that they're giving us are hollow husks. You may have sobered up, and I've seen firsthand how difficult that is, and must have been to you, but you've relapsed in addiction. You're a you're addicted to hatred and negativity. You're addicted to the engagement it brings that furthers your hatred and negativity. Well, I mean, he's done something that, in my opinion, is pretty inspirational to probably a lot of people. 
fighting addiction and relapsing and fighting it again, coming back from like the deepest and darkest portions of yourself is probably really fucking hard. And this fucking sad cunt is trying to suggest that him doing just his job running one of the most successful YouTube channels on the platform when it comes to pop culture is somehow, is somehow as bad as being, you know, a fucking drug addict. You are filth. If I saw you in real life, I'd spit at your feet. Yes, because nothing is more intimidating than some fucking loser on Twitter. And plus, I don't think approaching an American from the South is probably a very good idea if you want to, you know, you keep breathing. And of course, this tweet has gained a lot of traction. A lot of prominent YouTubers have reacted to this. And the takeaway from this video is, I think people really need to, you know, sometimes take a step back and realize just because you disagree with somebody doesn't mean they're a fucking Nazi. If you want to find out if you want to take someone's opinions really seriously, the best way to do this and the quickest way to do this is to click on their profile. And the first thing you will find is the evidence if you want to take them seriously or not. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed what I had to say in this video, like the video, please. Comment if you disagree. Comment if you agree. If you've had any experiences with these kind of people, please let me know below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now, guys.